Why is the government doing this with the booster programme? Well, it comes down to three pieces of data I want to show you. And the first is about waning immunity. So the chances you have of potentially catching the disease, even after you've been double vaccinated. And we know that vaccine effectiveness, the higher these lines are, the less that chance is, so the more protection you have. Vaccine effectiveness is pretty high initially. 92% for Pfizer, that's the dark blue dot. And then AstraZeneca, 62.7%. That's in week one. But look at what happens as we go forward from week one to week 20. Those lines go down. And you can see that by week 20, week 20 plus, you're talking about down from 92% eff uh, vaccine effectiveness to 69.7%. Uh, AstraZeneca down from 62.7 to 47.3. So that's a picture of waning immunity. This is against transmitting uh, the disease. The second reason uh, that we're talking about boosters at the moment is that we have some early evidence in, and it suggests the programme thus far has been really very successful. These lines here showing you just how many people in this, the latest kind of data pool, have been getting COVID-19. So amongst the unvaccinated, that's a percentage, uh, the highest, then AstraZeneca, that uh, light blue bar, and then Pfizer. The higher they are, the more uh, COVID we're talking about. And look at what happens after that booster uh, programme. You can see those bars going down. So you're seeing the chances of getting COVID going down. That's immediately after getting the jabs. And then look, after two weeks, your immunity is up. Those bars are down because your chances of getting COVID are a lot lower. And if you look at the comparison between that red bar there and those other bars, you're talking, there's a kind of equation you can work out to get vaccine effectiveness, 93%, 94%. Uh, it's really high. And if we just plug that into the chart we showed you just a moment ago, look, look at what happens to these lines. Going up, it was waning, and now it's going up. And not only is it kind of back to where it started, it's actually better than where it started for Pfizer, a little bit better. And for AstraZeneca, a lot higher than it was when it started. This is against transmission, I should say, of the disease. We know that in preventing hospitalizations and deaths, they're really effective, kind of whatever the situation here. Final bit of evidence the government has been focusing on is the epidemiological picture across Europe, basically how much COVID there is. And not long ago, this red line, the UK, was a cause for concern. Now, there are some question marks over whether this, the UK really was the worst in Europe. But nonetheless, since then, the UK's line has been more or less flat. And look, other countries around the world, Austria, uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, have risen far faster than the UK. And the concern is that too could spread to this country soon.